What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2019 Panini National Treasures Baseball just sold out. This is a two-box half-case break. Random teams number one. And again, guys, we got some really nice hits here. This is Tatis and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie year. Of course, you stop some Pete Alonso. You have uh, a lot of really good rookies here. Eli Jimenez, pretty strong, guys. Here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names. Uh, we got Robert Flores to start us off. All the way down to Jonathan. Last ball, Mojo. We got D-backs down to the Nationals. So good luck, everybody. Fresh case. Roll it, and we got ourselves a five and a one six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and six and final time. Robert Grise down to Matt L. Home run. Nolan Arenado. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Dodgers down to the Royals, or Orioles, sorry. All right. Well, guys, with the Dodgers, Jonathan, you have the Yankees last ball mojo. Talon with the White Sox, Jeremy Poor with the Braves, Charles with the Red Sox, James with the Twins, Paul with the Angels, Mike with the Cardinals, Robert Flores with the Tigers, Will with the Rays, Eric with the Rangers, Charles with the Mariners, Jeremy with the Pirates, Daniel with the Phillies, Daniel uh, O, Daniel K with the Phillies, Daniel O, you have the Giants, uh, Jonathan, or sorry, John L with the Padres, Matt L with the Brewers, Will Hash, you have the A's, Michael K with the D backs, Jeremy. Uh, R with the Royals, Matt L with the Nationals, Jeffrey Dorlek with the Marlins, Robert Flores with the Blue Jays, Will with the Mets, Cubs, Daniel O with the Rockies, Jeremy with the Indians, Ed with the Reds, Jeremy with the Astros, and Matt with the Baltimore Orioles. So if anybody wants to trade, I was actually about to read the item description. I remember last year's, 2018, sorry, they did put a Babe Ruth Lou Gehrig cut signature booklet. Panini has added two new pairings of booklets in 2019. Babe Ruth and Honus Wagner and Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb. Good Lord. So, uh, find on-card autographs from the top rookies, of course. So, Jonathan, I mean, if that was all Yankees, that'd be all yours. But if we did were to pull something crazy, you have the Yankees right there. So, if anybody wants to trade, give you guys a quick minute. I want to close.
All right, guys. Good luck. Alright, so two on the left, two on the right. Let's see if we can get out of here. One, two, three left. Four, five, six, right. Oh, landed right over here, guys. Three. One, two, three. So these will be for the next one, number two. And there you go. All right, guys. Good luck. First one we got is Tommy Pham to 99. That is Tampa Bay with that one. TB is Will Hash. We have a seven-way relic of Rafael Devers to 99. Red Sox with that one. Charles. We have Paul Molitor, National Treasures Hall of Fame materials to 99 for Milwaukee. Milwaukee Brewers going to Matt Al. We have a Eddie Collins for Philadelphia. One of one. Very nice. Now, let me double check that this isn't like Philadelphia A's. If it's Philadelphia A's, then that'll be going to the Oakland A's. If it's Phillies, that stays with the Phillies, of course. Going to Daniel K. Let's actually quickly open that up really quick. National Treasures Baseball, one of one. And this is Eddie Collins. Is Eddie not in this checklist? Is this an update? Wow, he's not even in the checklist. How funny is that? He's not even in the checklist. Oh, there he is. Sorry, there he is. Card number 199. Yeah, there you go. Yes, it's Philadelphia Athletics. So, uh, that is going to go to the Oakland Athletics, guys, which is Will Hash. So, remember, all the old school teams go to the teams they were affiliated with at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one of one Eddie Collins, Philadelphia A's, is going to go to the Oakland A's. Make sure to put Oakland on there. Although it might not be Oakland anymore, any longer. Oh, 
There you go. Very nice one on one. Let's continue on. We have a 8 out of 25, Luis Ortiz for Baltimore. Rookie patch autograph, Sino Perez. Man, these patch autographs are beautiful. 48 out of 49. I'm like super thick, too. Like, I don't even think they fit in regular 180s. Like, barely. That is for Houston. Astros. That is Jeremy. We have Justice Sheffield, rookie signatures for Seattle. Seattle Mariners going to Charles. Cal Ripken Jr., 3 out of 25. Very nice. That is going to go to the Baltimore Orioles and Matt L. And looks like we got rookie signature jumbo material Cedric Mullins to 99 for Baltimore. Another one back to back for Baltimore. Sweet. Next one. All right, we got Patrick Corbin at 25. I get some 100s of that for now. Washington with that one going to Matt L. Aaron Nola to 99, another one for the Phillies. That's going to Daniel. David Ortiz, 10 out of 25. We have a out of 25, Billy Herman for Chicago. Let me make sure I got the right one right here. This is number 193. Chicago Cubs, Billy Herman. We have a Reese McGuire to 99 for Toronto. Blue Jays, that's going to Robert Flores. We have a Kevin Kramer to 99. For Pittsburgh, that is going to Jeremy. We have a Brian Reynolds. To 99 for Pittsburgh, back to back. We have a Trevor Story to 99 for Colorado. That is going to uh, Rockies Daniel. And last one here is Legendary Triples. Or Triple Legends. Willie Keeler, Mule Suttles, and Tommy Heinrich. Out of 25. Wow. New York, Newark, and Baltimore. That is pretty cool. So I think uh, Mule uh, is not going to be affiliated with the MLB. Uh, but Baltimore and New York will be. 
So if that is the case, if Mule Suttles were to win uh, the randomizer, then that would be uh, going to everybody. I'll give it a shot to everybody. They won't randomize customer names and someone wins that. Let's double check that really quick as well. So, you know what's weird about this book? It says Eagles. Who the hell were the Eagles back in the day? Because it has Willie Keeler for <laughs> base sepias. They have him for the Brooklyn Superbass. Then they have him for the Eagles, Yankees, and Orioles. I got to figure out who the Eagles were. Give me one second. Or you know what? Maybe Group Break Checklist actually has it better. Yeah, they have Willie for Baltimore here. Okay. So in this booklet, it says Baltimore, but I guess they were called the Baltimore Eagles back in the day? Yeah, well, it says Baltimore, so that's what I'm going to go with on the card. Has Baltimore, then it has Tommy Heinrich uh, Yankees, but this is it right here. So he's part of this checklist right here. So the triple booklet relic is the one that we're looking for right there. Yeah. All right. So cool. So let's do that randomizer really quick. So we're gonna go Baltimore. Then we're going to go Newark. And then we'll put Yankees, just so people don't get confused, but it's New York Yankees. Just put NY. And just to show you guys, too, when you guys look up Mule, uh, he is part of no nobody in the MLB. Uh, I believe he was part of the, uh, the, the Negro team. Of back in the day so uh, but this guy supposedly was like really really good though like I don't even think people called him like Babe Ruth he had some crazy stats and he has part of the Baseball Hall of Fame as well so yeah there you go Alright, so remember, Baltimore Orioles, New York, and again, if Mule Suttles wins that one, it'll go to everybody. Then I'll have a separate randomizer for all the list of customer names, and since it's not affiliated with any team, everybody has a shot at it, and then customer name at number one gets that, alright? So let's see who wins this one first. Roll it, and we got ourselves a four and a two for six times. Good luck. One, two... Three, four, five, six. And there you go. That's exactly what I just said. Four and a two, six times. So Newark, which is Mule Suttles. Now everybody's going to have a shot at this now since it is not affiliated with any MLB team. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the customer names now. And everybody's going to get a piece of this history. 
get a shot at it at least, I should say. And we use the same dice ruler here, four and a two, as New York did win the randomizer. Now everybody has a shot at this. Name at number one gets that booklet now. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time, guys. So six times. Charles Wolfkill. There you go. Very nice. Congratulations, man. I don't know. I think you had multiple teams, but either your Mariners team got you that or your Boston Red Sox team got you that. But there you go, man. You're going to get this piece of history right here. Let me quickly show it to you again. As Mule Suttles beat out Willie Keeler and Tommy Heinrich. So there you go. Put that back in there. So appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.